All right, that's Gene Cotton. Gene, I have saved this place for you, my friend. Sit right here. Last time we were talking, I can't remember. I said something about Nashville a minute ago. That, that's not your original home. No, Columbus, Ohio was my original home. What kind of a neighborhood were you brought up in? Oh, sort of an inner city neighborhood. I went to an inner city school, a lot of uh, criminals. Tough? Tough? criminals. Yeah, it was kind of tough, but I ended up sort of being out of that environment. Have you uh, ever in your life assigned an idol for yourself or admired anybody? Not really. I have a lot of favorite people that I like. Uh, Croce, of course, is probably one of my favorites out of the 60s and early 70s. I remember. I'm in a remembering mood because next week we're going to have a big anniversary show. I remember the day he appeared right over there, sang for the first time. He and his wife were married in my backyard in Philadelphia. You're kidding. I didn't know that until years later. Um, why do you make music in Nashville, Tennessee? That's not country music. No, there are good studios there, good musicians there, and I live in a great neighborhood, and uh, it's just a fun place to live. A lot of hills, it's green, and low key, low pressure. I have noticed here with people that are the general age group who come here, they're not real big country fans. Why? Now, this is a blanket statement. It's not always, I'm, it's not infallible. Why is it young people are not big country fans right away? Well, I, I don't think that uh, the kids are particularly into some of the, maybe the hardcore, you know, what you would consider gutsy, you know, earthy country kinds of things, mm -hmm. but they're certainly into, you know, Charlie Daniels, country rock, uh, Marshall Tucker Band, and that sort of thing. Do you, do you see a change? I mean, do you see the amalgamation of our music coming together? Oh, yeah. I think that, uh, that a lot of the contemporary artists have really helped to bridge the gap between country and, and pop and rock, and it's, it's kind of nice. It really is. All right. You've, you've got a moment now to sing another song. If you will extend your left hand subtly over the there into the darkness, a man will hand you a microphone as if by magic it will appear. Just, just like on The Tonight Show. You ever notice they say, thank you, Johnny, and the microphone disappears. I always wonder whose job it is that makes that disappear. What's the nature of the song? It's called It's Over Goodbye, and I wrote it sort of feeling the pain of some of my friends, I suppose. Let's give it a try. You gonna sit down? I'll sit right here. I'll get out of the way. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Gene Cotton.